Our ability to shape our own perspective is what makes us as humans so special. But what if you couldn't form your own opinion and you found it difficult understanding perspectives different from your own? This idea is known as theory of mind, an understanding of the beliefs, emotions or mental states of others. Impaired theory of mind often goes unrecognized until children start school though, a time where social functioning becomes vital. Understanding why this impairment happens is therefore crucial to improving the quality of life of sufferers. Dr. Margot Taylor at SickKids in Toronto, Canada, has found that a significant proportion of babies born prematurely develop theory of mind difficulties in childhood. These very preterm or VPT children often suffer academic underachievement and cognitive impairment later in life. Her research investigates the neural pathways behind this using a brain imaging technique called magnetoencephalography. With this, she's mapped the brain processes of VPT and full-term children while using a false belief task, a common theory of mind test. This map, or mentalizing network, identifies that the occipital regions, the right inferior frontal gyrus, and the temporal parietal junction of the brain activate when VPT and full-term children are faced with socially testing scenarios. However, VPT children's cognitive activation is often reduced and delayed compared to full-term children. This means mentalizing networks are underutilized, potentially responsible for impaired theory of mind. Through her research, Dr. Taylor is developing an understanding of mind, improving the lives of socially vulnerable children in doing so.